Megan from the garden. So I am out here early this morning getting some flowers harvested for this week's farmers markets. This week I am doing not just one but I'm doing two farmers markets. So the first one I'm doing is tomorrow and that is here in town and I have not been able to do that market yet this year. And then a couple days later I'm going to do the market that I did a couple weeks ago and that is in the town where I grew up in which is about 15 minutes away. So last week I was not able to do any farmers markets based on my shooting schedule. Um, I'm also a photographer, which I have been for about 18 years. Now, even though I was not able to do any markets last week, I did still sell a bunch of bouquets online, which was great. And then I also made three larger bouquets for an event that was in town over the weekend. So last week was not a total loss. Um, but this week I am doing two markets, and so I have a lot to harvest. So I'm out here this morning. It's a perfect morning for harvesting. It's actually not even 70 degrees yet, so it's absolutely beautiful. So this morning I am harvesting a ton of snapdragons. They are going crazy. I have a lot to harvest. Um, the end of last week I actually harvested a lot, which I have in the fridge, so I'm going to be using those tomorrow at the market. I also have some calendula, some status. Um, I may have some celosia ready. I need to test that out. Um, I think I'm going to have some gonfrina. Um, I think I have some more daisies and some more yarrow. So just kind of a wide variety of everything. So I'm going to get started harvesting and then I will show you everything that I get this morning. Okay, so here's what I'm working with so far. On the left are the snapdragons that I just harvested this morning. On the right are all of the snapdragons that I have had in the fridge for a few days. And so I have plenty of snapdragons to work with. Now in the middle, if you guys can see that okay, um, in the middle I have a random assortment. I have yarrow, some calendula, a few gonfrina, celosia, a bunch of status, a couple daisies, and some bachelor buttons. Now you noticed in the clip before this that I was shaking the stems on my gomphrina and celosia. You want to make sure that the stems are nice and firm before you harvest them for cut flowers. So most of mine were not quite ready yet. So I have plenty to work with so far for tomorrow's market. I am going to go forage a few extra fillers and I do have a few more cut flowers at home that I'll harvest. So this video will pick back up when I'm making my bouquets tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next morning. I am here at home on my kitchen table getting my market bouquets ready for the market that is later this afternoon. And first I'm gonna do some $15 bouquets and then I'm gonna fill in with some $10 bouquets. And so the supplies that I'm using are my craft paper. So I have these already pre-cut into squares. For my larger bouquets, I use an 18 by 18 inch. And then for my smaller bouquets, I use a 15 by 15 inch. And I'll show you how I fold these and wrap them as I go. Um, the other supplies I have are my snippers. I have a stapler because I do staple my paper. Um, I have rubber bands because I'll rubber band the bottom of the bouquet. And then I have my stickers because I also put a sticker over one of the staples on my wrap um, just to make it look cute. And then the flowers that I have today, I have a lot of snapdragons. These were harvested a few days ago and they have been in my fridge. They look amazing. Snapdragons will keep really well um, in a fridge or cooler. I actually harvested a bunch more this morning and those are in my fridge also for Thursday's market, which is in two days, this is Tuesday. Um, then I have a bucket here of a bunch of random things. I have quite a bit of yarrow. Um, I have some celosia, straw flower, and gonfrina, just a few of those, um, cause those are really just starting. I have a couple echinacea, I have some status, I have some bachelor buttons. Um, I have one more daisy. I have some calendula. And I think that's it. So these will just mix in with the snapdragons in my $15 bouquets. My $10 bouquets this week are going to be smaller bouquets of just snapdragons. 
And then I do have some random filler that's actually a wildflower too that I'm gonna plug into my $15 bouquets. And then I think by Thursday's market, I may have some Rebecca and some Xenius coming in. I also have one event that I'm making some arrangements for this weekend, which I hope I have some more Rebecca for that one too. So I'm just gonna get going on these. Okay, so I'm starting with my $15 bouquets. And first I started with this filler, and then for these I'm using my Potomac Snapdragons because the stems are much longer and thicker, and so this is the Potomac Royal, so I did four. And now I'm just gonna fill in with some of my supplements that I have here. So I'm gonna go like the whites and purples with this one. So this one I'm gonna call done. So I have my filler in the middle. I have four of the Potomac Snapdragons. I have two clusters of Celosia. I have three multi-stems of Bachelor Buttons, um, three stems of Status. I have four Queen Anne's Lace and a couple of bigger stems of Yarrow. So I think that that is really pretty. So I'm gonna trim it first. All right, then I'm gonna rubber band it. And then to wrap it, I'm using my 18 by 18 inch square, which I'm folding. So I'm folding it so the corners don't quite meet. Then I lay it down. And then I'm gonna bring it together like this so that the bottom stems are out. And that is where I staple it. Then I'm gonna fold it over and leaving the top pretty wide. I'm gonna staple it again. And see the staple right here? That is where my sticker's going. Okay, so that's how it looks. There's a shot from the top. I hope that's in focus. Now these are gonna go in water until it's time for the market. And the buckets I'm using, these are black buckets, they're from Johnny's, and then I just made my little signs and they tape on the front. So I'm gonna get some water in this and start my bucket. Okay, so here is this one. Isn't that so pretty? So I have the filler in the middle. I have four Snapdragons, which I think are the Madame Butterfly Bronze. Um, I have a bunch of the QIS Orange Gum Frina. I have one Echinacea. Um, I have one Daisy. I have Status and then Queen Anne's Lace around the bottom. So I'm gonna trim this up and get this wrapped. So I don't have a ton of stuff today, which I think is perfect for this market. The market in the town I'm going to today is where I live. And it's a smaller farmer's market. Our town is only about 1,200 people. The market that I'm going to in a couple days is a little bigger, and that's about 10 minutes away, and that's in the town I grew up in, and that's about 2,500 people, which is still small. Um, that's the size of the town, not the size of the market. In rural Northwest Iowa, we are very small farming communities but we have great community support for all of our functions. And since this is my first year doing the cut flower market bouquets, that's a perfect way to start. 
Okay, so there is bouquet number two. I'm gonna put this in water and do my third $15 bouquet. Okay, so I'm done with the third bouquet. Here's this one, it's mostly yellows. So I have the filler in there again. I have four Costa Apricot Snapdragons. I have one Echinacea, a whole bunch of Calendula, some Yarrow, and some Queen Anne's Lace. So I think that one is beautiful. So all three of my $15 bouquets are very, very different. Um, now I'm only doing three of the $15 ones because the $10 ones have been a hotter selling price point. Um, so I'm gonna use all the rest of my Snapdragons and I'm gonna make a bunch of little $10 bouquets. And then that will give me a way to gauge um, what sells at this market. So I'm gonna start making those now. So all of my bouquets are done. Let me show you what I ended up with. Okay, so here are all the bouquets I have. So on the left are my $15 bouquets. I have three of those. And then on the right are all of my Snapdragon bouquets. I have six of those. And you can clearly tell the difference between the price points, which is definitely what I wanted to do. The $15 bouquets are much fuller and have a wide variety of flowers. And then the $10 ones are the cute little Snapdragon groupings. And I did all of them pretty much the same. They are just all multicolored. So I'll head to the market now. So it is the morning after the market and last night's market went amazing. I completely sold out. So the market goes from five to seven. So yesterday I got there about 4.30 and set up really quickly. And about 4.45, the first people started arriving. Um, this is a very small market and so they allow people to come early. They don't have um, like a whistle they blow or anything like the other market that I do. Um, so about 4.45, people started showing up and purchasing. I was completely sold out by 520. So I definitely could have brought more bouquets, but it's the first time that I did that market, so I didn't really know. So now I know. Um, I also didn't wanna take everything that I had because I'm doing the other market tomorrow and I wanted to make sure to save enough in my cooler for that. Um, so anyway, last night's market was a total success. I sold everything. Um, so now I'm just going to get ready for the market it is tomorrow night. So this video will pick back up tomorrow when I am making all of those bouquets. Okay, so it's the morning of my second market of the week. I am at the studio getting all of my bouquets together. I'm working with a bunch of Snapdragons just like before. Um, I have my fillers and Queen Anne's lace just like before. And then I have kind of a miscellaneous bucket of what is ready. I have some Status, Gumfrina, Calendula, Celosia, and Daisies. And one Rebecca. My Rebecca is about ready to explode. So I can't wait to have that for the projects I have for the weekend. So I'm just going to get after this and get my bouquets together. And I will show you what I end up with. Okay, so all of my bouquets are put together for today. I have four $15 bouquets. Now these are a mixture. One thing that I learned from the previous markets that I've done is that I need to make a bigger difference between what is included in my $10 bouquets and my $15 bouquets. 
that definitely makes the more expensive ones go a little bit quicker, um, but it, it just differentiates the price point a little bit better as well. So my $15 bouquets, you can see they're definitely a mixture of flowers. I have some filler in there, about four Snapdragons, which I usually try to use the Potomac series. Um, I have some Heliopsis, some Echinacea, some Calendula, some um, Queen Anne's Lace, um, some Gomfrina here and there. So that is what is included in the $15 ones this week. And then my $10 bouquets are all multicolored Snapdragons. I think these are so pretty. Um, and I'm using about eight or nine stems depending on the size of the Snapdragon. Um, some of them have 10 stems if the Snapdragons are just a little bit smaller. But um, everything sold out on Tuesday, so I'm going with the same plan today, going to my Thursday market. Um, so it's time to load up the markets later this afternoon and I will report back to let you know how things did. Oh, I should also mention, I had one random bouquet sale yesterday for someone and today while I was making these I had someone stop in and get two $15 bouquets. So I'm taking four to the market but I actually had six. So time to load up. Okay, so it is the day after my second market of the week and that market went really well as well. It started off a little slower than the other one, but it turned out just great. I ended up selling almost everything. I had one $15 bouquet left and one $10 bouquet. And so I gave the $10 bouquet to my mom and I kept the $15 bouquet. So it worked out perfect. So this weekend, I'm just working on a couple of projects. I have a few bouquets to do for a birthday party, and then the first of the week, I have a bridal shower bouquet to do, and then another market. But I think my video next week will probably be another cut flower garden tour because it has changed so much since I did the last cut flower garden tour. So I think it's time for an update. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you soon.